Hello, Nick Harris here, a UK-based illustrator. And we all have those days where we're just not quite sure what to do. The blank bit of canvas just keeps staring back at us. Uh, so we're sort of dealing with a little exercise that will just overcome that, get you going again. Uh, using Painter, because it's got fantastic watercolours, um, you can make marks uh, without really concentrating on what you're doing and just kind of see where it goes. And then the exercise is to uh, make something of that. As you can see from the first part of this little vid cap, I've had a couple of false starts already, which didn't really lead anywhere. But the good thing about this is it doesn't take very long. And uh, sooner or later you'll find something that just gets you going. Uh, the problem with my machine and painter, uh, with the watercolours, is that uh, it eats up the RAM and I haven't got much and it's an old machine. So when I've got a piece of splodge, for want of a better word, that, to work on, I will then save it as a JPEG and transfer it to something like Sketchbook Pro or ArtRage, uh, which I use all the time. Uh, it's just what I use. And as you can see here, I've taken a, a green splodge that I also worked back into with a bit of, it's not an eraser, what do they call it? Uh, wetting agent, wetting agent, because it, it just um, made some more lighter parts that uh, varied the tone a bit more interestingly. And, and I just started drawing and for this particular one, it, it just seemed like this kind of strange pug snub-nosed animal with great big eyes that could have been being ridden by two characters on its back, one of which has um, quite pronounced um, horns on its head and is quite small. An everyday tale of everyday folk. Um, so all I'm doing is starting with line because I like, I'm a bit of a drawer, rather than a, I'm a better drawer than a painter for the little that means. Uh, so I started with drawing and then started blocking in some tones underneath and as the form more or less emerges uh, from the shapes I'm creating based on the shapes that the the random play gave me um, I go back into the the original blobby painting and I erase certain bits to help it conform more uh, to what this is becoming because it does kind of change as you go. Nothing is a, it's very unlikely that everything is going to be just in the right place for you to do a masterpiece. I mean that's the whole point, it's to get you thinking. And while you're doing this stuff your brain's ticking away and you will probably find that after you've done one maybe two on a bad day of these, uh, your brain is much more invigorated. You won't find it so hard to get started on something more focused. That said, you never know where this is going to lead. You might, this might start a whole new path for you. So anyway, tinkering away on this, adding things that are almost like gills, working in a fairly muted tone at the moment, not a big range of colours. Um, but uh, the, the yellow behind is bothering me a bit now. In Sketchbook Pro you can change the, the hue and that's what I'm doing now to a, a tone that um, just it seems to suit my sensibilities more, which I've done there. And I also, in, I also uh, enlarge the canvas a bit at the same time, matching the colour to it. And this is where I took the thing based on that original sort of fairly almost monochromatic uh, start uh, to this character here. Uh, just worked it like I would any other picture but it, it started from nothing. I didn't have the idea in the first place but it ended up with a, a sort of image and you can do exactly the same. Painter is just a fantastic place to start because of the way its watercolour works like that. So, if ever you're stuck, just have a go at something like that. Bye!